Hey you guys, it's Toya and thank you for watching Toya JTV. Today I want to talk to you about how often you should trim your hair. So many people, like especially my relaxed girls that get their relaxers every six weeks, please I hope you stop doing that. But they tell me that they get a trim every time they get a relaxer. And that's if that's every six weeks, that I feel like that's a little bit too soon because if you're constantly trimming, the only time I recommend that is if your hair is really short and you're trying to maintain that style. But if you have longer, or if you're trying to grow longer hair, then I always suggest getting a trim every about 10 to 12 weeks, which is roughly about every three months. I recommend that you stretch your relaxer to every four months. So that means sometimes you would be getting a relaxer before your touch up. Sometimes you would be getting right at your touch up. Sometimes you would get it after your touch up it really just depends on where your three months falls okay so again i do recommend trimming every three months and i do recommend that you go to a professional hairstylist to get your ends trim i trim my own hair i don't have to go to a professional hairstylist to get my ends trim because i've been taught how to do that so i can do that on my own now i don't do my own chemicals but i do my own trims all right but again i have been taught that I'm sorry, y'all. I just can't figure out how I want this hair. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, again, <laughs> I think that I recommend that you should get your hair trimmed every three months. And again, that's because you want to allow your hair the chance to grow. In three months, you should have grown at least an inch and a half of new growth. If you only need to take maybe a half an inch off, then you're still retaining an inch sometimes more of that length sometimes you only need teeny teeny tiny bit trim like i tell my clients like sometimes you just need like a, a just a smidge off like not even a half an inch but i can tell like i guess because i'm around here so much i can just look at the ends and tell where you know how they're about to start splitting and i can go ahead and cut it right then you know versus being like oh just wait till next time and then you're giving that split ends time to split faster or split more and then i just have to cut more later so i would rather cut less you know than cut more again unless you have a style that you're trying to maintain that style like if i wanted to keep my hair this short then i would be constantly cutting and i'm not even really caring about the, i care about the split ends but my main goal is to keep it in the same style but as i let my hair grow then i'm gonna again get my trims every three months and i'm only gonna trim what needs to come off versus trimming enough to get the same cut because my hair is already growing out so it's not as short as it was when i first got it cut but and that's why I curled it because I was like, my hair is growing already, especially when I wear it straight. It looks super like way longer than it did when I first got it um, cut. So when I curl it, it makes me feel like my hair is back short again. All right. So again, every three months or every 10 to 12 weeks, sometimes you can go a little longer. It just depends. Like for instance, if you were to get a protective style and you wore that protective style for four months, then you may not need to trim until after you take the protective style down because your ends have been protected for four months. So you may not need a trim because I've seen girls like that's why that's why I also recommend get a trim right before you get a protective style. Don't get a protective style without getting a trim first because again, when you you want to protect hair that's healthy because if you are get a protective style like braids and you need a trim and you don't get one it's gonna be even worse when you take the braids out like braids are not like this magic potion that you can just throw your hair in some braids you can throw damaged hair in some braids and then when you take the braids down your hair gonna be back healthy no you need to get your hair healthy first then get a protective style and then that will help you to keep your hair healthy but if your hair is already damaged braiding it is just going to further aggravate that all right so get your ends trimmed every 10 to 12 weeks sometimes longer it just really depends on how good you take care of your ends if you don't take care of them at all 
you may need to get a trim way sooner than three months. But if you are very diligent about your hair care routine, you're making sure you're tying it up every night, you're wrapping it, you're rolling it, you're doing something to protect those ends, you're using your satin scarf, your satin cap, your bonnet, whatever, then you sometimes, people like that can go a little longer, okay? So, but just a general rule is about three months. Just give or take depending on the person, all right? So I hope that helps you all and I will see you all next time. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.